Hey there, Brewbarians, what's up? And welcome to a new video series that I'm actually really, really looking forward to. So this is Satisfactory. I'm excited to try it. We're gonna do the new game and uh, session info. Um, we're just gonna say chaos and we're not going to skip the intro because I don't know how to play the game. Ah. That screen was really close to my face. I hope I had my blue light blocking glasses on. Okay, I mean, as per usual with space-based games and alien-based games, we are landing on an alien planet with a kite animal. What in the world? All right, and we're here. Hello, bird. Okay, so we can run. Standard shift. What are you? Barry. Okay. Uh, we can disassemble. Okay, press F to, dis to enter dismantle. Hold to dismantle. Easy peasy. Okay. Uh, right mouse button to close. Okay, so iron is, is key, apparently. Press V to scan for iron nodes. Okay, you have to hold it. The location of scanned resources. Ah! Plenty of iron that way. 300, 292. Okay, so it's it's kind of like No Man's Sky. Oh, there's like slightly low gravity. That's kind of cool. Ooh, ah, so is this iron? Well, who are you? Are you angry? Oh, what is, is this the iron? This looks like iron. Ah, here's iron. All right, so let's... uh. Oh, that's kind of interesting. We will, we will rock you. Ada, shut up. I'm rocking out. Oh, build menu is Q. I'm stupid. Okay, so this, the heart of your factory, this is where you complete the fix-it milestones to unlock additional blueprints of a building, vehicles, parts, and equipment. Okay. Probably would be good to just build our hub here. Uh, let's just, um, you know what? Let's just build it right here. Let's build it right here, maybe. Sure, that looks good. All right. Hub built. Uh, what are you? Configure hub upgrade one. Select this milestone. We need rods. Okay. Okay. 10 rods. We're able to upgrade our hub. Select the milestone. And let's go ahead. Drag the guys in there. Upgrade the hub. Bada bing, bada boom. And we now have uh, a box, which I guess is good. Okay. So equipment workshop. We need four iron rods which we can do cool equipment workshop let's just uh slap you over there all right uh select the recipe portable miner so we need what iron plate and iron things xeno zapper oh don't we already have a xeno is this a xeno zapper yeah we already got a xeno zapper okay so we need more iron dun dun ch bun bun ch bun bun ch I swear they did this on purpose. What the? What do you think you're doing? Yeah, okay, don't mind me. I'm just living here. All right, so we can do... Um... One... Two... Three... Uh, almost. We can almost do three. So are they in our inventory now? Yeah, okay. So now we can build... Uh, I guess it's not necessarily build. Oh, okay. Press E to pick up iron ore. Oh, okay. No, uh, here. Oh my gosh. It's a little robot guy. Oh, he's got a little eyeball. What a cutie. All right, get going. Okay. We got a few more to do now. There you go. Okay. Let's uh, get the, oh my gosh. Okay. Milestone cost. Oh. We can do that. Cool. You really make you have to to earn your automation. This feels like when you're trying to make like a redstone machine in Minecraft and you're just like constantly scrounging for resources. And so you're like, I made one repeater, but I need three. And it just takes forever to go and find the resources. But in this case, it doesn't take forever and it's actually taking like no time at all. Upgrade. Boom. That honestly kind of scared me that that appeared. Hub upgrade three. Uh, okay, so now we need copper. 
All right, so hold V to select which resource to scan for. Oh, we can scan for copper now. Where is it? Ah, there it is. 400, 300, 400. Okay, 300 it is. Huh, what is limestone? Ah, the copper. Why is the, why do all the ores always have these pig dudes? There we go. A hundred should just about do it, I would say. Grab every bush on the way home. Sulfur? Oh. Smelter. Uh, let's put the smelter up here. Because we're going to be smelting up a whole butt ton of stuff. And yeah, that looks good right there. Alright, cool. Uh, and so it needs power. Missing concrete. Oh, interesting. Okay. Well, we can fix that right up. Because thankfully, we have some beautiful limestone right here. And can limestone make concrete? I don't know. Hub 3 requires you can make... Oh, you can make concrete. Okay, so we actually need to upgrade. Okay, so th this is how. Okay, blah, 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 blah. I'm stupid. Okay, iron. Here we go. Milestone 3. Boom, boom, boom. Upgrade. Bada bing. There we go. Okay, so concrete, I was correct. Power pole. Uh, okay, we're going to have to... Oh, we need iron rods. Can do that real quick. Does this have power now? Kind of looks like it. Constructor. Can be automated by feeding parts into it with a conveyor belt. We don't have a conveyor belt, though. We can't build a conveyor belt. What is that thing? What is it? All right, we're going to go get that. All right, well, there doesn't seem to be any way to get up there, so I guess we're not going to get that. All right, so I guess let's turn this guy on. That's making four power. That guy's got a green light, which means he's powered. And... Oh, honestly, I think we're probably pretty good. Okay, so this can hold a maximum of 100. So, naturally, I think we need more. All right, now, constructor. We've got enough to be able to make two, which I think is probably going to be good. Let's just uh, plop our constructors down. Uh, can I... Oh, I can place it, like, right next to it. Oh, we need a few more cables for that, but that's not a problem. We've got plenty of copper. What is the next step? Hub upgrade four. Conveyor belts, that's what we need. Okay, we've got plenty of that. Oh, okay, we can just do this. Psh, we don't even need this. Let's upgrade this bad boy. Awesome, hub four. So now... Now we can build Mark One conveyor belts and the conveyor belt pole. What does this cost? Just some metal plates. Oh, that's not even that bad. Oh, that's cool. Right there. All right, for these conveyor belts, we just need these. And so I've realized this is the insert and this is the X, X like the, the uh, air. I see there's arrows. Yes, there's arrows. So we're fools and we, we built this wrong, but that's fine. We How about we just uh, come around here? And then we just lead you to there. Get you to there. Boom. And now we've got our first automation. All right. So now what did we get in the next upgrade? Storage container and the miner. Ooh, definitely, definitely want that. Cool. Back to slapping this button. Take this, take this, take this. Upgrade me. All right, with that upgrade, we got the storage container, which is beautiful. And uh, we also got the miner. But probably the first thing we want to do is get this biomass burner going. That seems like something that would be good. Okay, there we go. Cool. Our first miner. And so this is going to need a conveyor belt system to go over to well we're gonna have to build another mining thing right there so maybe as we'll build this kind of around here boom right there fully automated iron iron uh junk wow this is so much faster that's awesome what happened did you run out of power no power oh did the uh am i out of yeah it looks like i'm out of power the entire way so it looks like we are out of burnable things Okay, while 
we're going around and we're just going to go around and gather up all this biomass for st uh, the plants, I guess, because we need it for fuel for right now. I sense a bad guy chasing after me. Oh my gosh, that scared the snot out of me. Please don't hurt me. Oh my gosh. Here I am just minding my own business, picking the flowers. And I've got a wombat, actual wombat, trying to attack me. And look at that. We can upgrade to the next level of the hub. Boom. Motivational message. Congratulations, you succeeded in every provided task. On behalf of Fixit Incorporated, I thank you for your current and future service. Wait a second. Chainsaw? Jump pads? Jelly landing generates a speed dampening jelly guarantees a safe landing. And a jump pad. Oh, that's cool. Right now we can go and make a whole host of these. Where do we want our kind of like our power grid to be? What if we just made this area kind of like our uh, our area of uh, powering? So we'll put them maybe right here. All right, I got these guys all built up. We've got three more biomass burners going right here. So we have now in total five. I'm kind of thinking what we need to be doing is I want to make some more of the mine. These uh, the assemblers or whatever they are. The um, what are they called? Uh, production the smelter i want to make some more smelting for the iron so we can have multiple mining things going on uh we need some copper wire for that and so to do that what i just what i think we should do is get a miner over oh we have enough resources we can already do it we can go and get the the mining or the ore area over there get some copper ore uh, and then i'm gonna feed it all the way back over here and uh, make it so that we can have uh a nice crazy assembly line going on that's like super far away but in order to do that i gotta go grab one of these limestone guys and we should honestly probably make a a thing over here as well you know we could feed it back this way because that would make a lot of sense but where's the fun in that let's feed it off in this direction so it has to go like crazy up and over and make a stupid long path uh we've got 46 of these so let's see how far uh, can we make this go? Well, let's uh, maybe get it up Breaking news from Earth. up here. Chaos yes. We're going to feed it unnecessarily up here. Have it run all the way. Wait, does this not cost that much? Okay, so we just ran out, so we can go to right here. We'll say one of the nice things about this game is that even though there are enemies, there's not that many and they're not that difficult to deal with. At least here there aren't. It's pretty relaxing, honestly. You're just kind of resource gathering, building machines. It's pretty fun. I'm actually really enjoying myself, especially listening to Queen all the time like this. It's like, I mean, who can't rock out to this? We've got plenty of plates now if we run along our little maze of a thing. A little low to the ground there, but that's fine. All right, let's see here. Well, we certainly don't want to go down there because we're going to have another miner. Honestly, making these like snaking is pretty cool. I kind of dig what they look like. Like I bet when the like resources are flowing, this is going to look super cool. It's an entirely like huge waste of space. Sure. All right, we're going to take the smelter, connect that guy on up. He's going to need some power. Good thing the power cable is literally right there. Boom, powered up, ready to go. Let's turn one of these guys on because I would imagine we're getting close to our power consumption maximum. So we drop down. Oh, okay. We're actually producing plenty of power, right? Yeah, yeah, we have plenty right now capacity is at 40 and we're only doing okay so we have, we don't need to turn those guys on at all <laughs> look at the copper oh i love the snake oh we're backed up copper ingots please and thank you and then this will set the copper wire it's gonna make some copper wire for us okay look at that the chaos begins you know some people might think this is unnecessary but to me this is entirely why they make conveyor belts so cheap like you immediately can just make almost an infinite amount like we have iron ore going right there 
and it's just constantly pumping out iron stuff. We need to honestly kind of resituate that. Maybe I'll do that a little bit later. But yeah, I mean, the conveyor belts are so cheap. Might as well have fun with them because I know you can also get some super fast ones. So imagine this going like Mach 3 speeds. We're going to have so much iron ore production. It's going to be absolutely insane. And I cannot wait. I may have taken the disorganization a little too far, but we can't back out now. So I think this area is going to get even worse. Then I'm really looking forward to it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, leave a like in real life. And this chaos is <laughs> only going to get worse. And I'm really actually looking forward to it. It's fun to make chaos in a game about organization. And I hope you guys are enjoying if you did, leave a like in real life, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Satisfactory. Bye-bye. Uh,